What's up YouTubers? It's Midwest Phil here and today I want to give you a little FYI about how to change out the map lights and the dome lights in the 2023 Ram 1500. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I saw a lot of misinformation on YouTube about what you should do and what you shouldn't do and, and why this was and why that was and I wanted to set all that straight because I'm a tech and that's what I do. So anyway, Here's what the situation is. You see these two map lights up here, and you see that dome light back there. Well, all the YouTube videos that you've been watching about changing those bulbs from the amber halogen to the uh, white LEDs say that you open this up and you remove a couple eight millimeter screws in here and you push two clips back, which drops this down. That's all fine and dandy. The big problem is when you get up into here. They want you to pull this out. There's two clips in there. Those clips, while they may be re reusable a couple of times, they slide into a couple of slots through the frame. And if you just jerk those out of there, you're gonna cause this to loosen up every single time you do it. So, I'm gonna tell you how you really should do it because I know for a fact that Ram didn't intend for the customer every time he needed to change a bulb out here which wouldn't be all that often but if he did for him to have to pull this out because these clips uh, are somewhat abrasive when they go in and when they come out that's how they stay up in there for one thing you can re-expand them a little bit with the screwdriver but I've had experience with these particular clips before and I know that if you've done that there's a possibility that this could just fall down or you're going to have a gap there all the time. So the way you do it is not to do it the way you're seeing on YouTube. So on YouTube they tell you to take the 8mm screws out, push the back clips back, pull down on the front, jerk those uh, front clips out, and then unplug the thing, put it in your lap, and then you start disassembling the lenses. What you should do is go right to the lens disassembly. So you come up in here, there's long tabs back here. Two long tabs here, long tabs here. Short tab, short tab, short tab, short tab. You take a very thin piece of plastic like a uh, plastic chip or a guitar pick or something very thin and you slide it up in there. Then you take a very small thin screwdriver or another piece of very thin stout plastic and you push alongside of it and you pop it and it'll loosen this up and then you can just pull this whole thing out you do the same thing the other way when you put them back in you put the long clips in first push one side in the rest will just pop back in the issue is when you get up into here and they have these chrome or silvered colored reflectors that allow the light to just shine this way and to just shine this way in this 2023, they slipped out, but they didn't come all the way out because they hang up on the bulb. The back of that bulb has a uh, articulating socket that allows the bulb to be moved like so and so. So that it, if you pull down on those uh, internal uh, reflectors, the bulb will move and those reflectors will come out. Once those reflectors come out, you can remove move those balls with a with your fingers if they're small enough, or you can uh, you can loop a small wire tie around them and pull them out. Or if you the lady of the house can come out, she's got small fingers, fingers, you can just pull them out once those reflectors are gone. If you're having problems getting the reflectors out over those things, all you have to do is insert a small tool up into there push over on that articulating socket and people were wondering why it looks so cheap is so it can move push over on it and this uh, reflector will come right off once the reflector comes right off you can simply reach up in there with your fingers and pull those out and just push in the new one you can do this this you know on both sides this one in the back here the replacement LED bulb that I got from uh, from a supplier on Amazon called Last Pit. That particular one there, the di the uh, the diameter of the bulb is slightly smaller 
than the di diameter of the housing one that comes out of there. So you have to squeeze the clips together a little bit on both sides when you pull that out. But really you just go to the passenger side, you'll see a little tab up in there, you pull that down. That swings down and the back comes a little bit loose and you'll, you'll notice that there's going to be a gap in the back. <clears throat> but when it swings back up, it hooks on the inside and it tightens itself up. So you just squeeze the two clips together a little bit, push your new, uh, I use last fit bulbs, push your bulb up in there, you all leave bulb up in there, make sure that the heat sink is uh, on the top side and the, the bulb is facing down. That's all you really have to do with it and then just snap it shut. Anyway, there's there is no reason in the world why you should remove the uh, the overhead map like uh, console altogether. Uh, by doing that, all you're going to do is you're going to widen those two slots that are up in there. You're going to widen this slot up here and this slot up here. You can't damage the ones in the back because they push out of the way. But and then you're going to find out you're going to end up with a gap here. And even in one of those videos. In one of the videos that I saw, when the gentleman removed the front two 8mm screws and pushed the clips back, the back fell out. The front fell out. It fell into his hand. If that happened, that means that the front part here and here was loose in the slots because the slots were worn out from taking this in and out. And because the clips were no longer spanning in there to hold it in because the clips won't do it once once you start uh, squeezing those spring clips and then trying to expand them a little bit to make them fit a little tighter they just get weak and they, they won't work anymore you have to get new spring clips you may even have to change out the whole unit I don't know but anyway so if you want to change out your your uh, map lights and it, you don't have to remove that overhead console. Just, just leave it, leave it where it's at. Anyway, that's all I got to say today. We love you, YouTubers. Bye, bye.